The Lavochkin Gorbunov Gudkov Lag 3 was a Soviet fighter aircraft used during World War II, renowned for its novel, robust construction and significant role in the early years of the conflict. Its development began in 1938 when the Soviet Air Force sought a modern monoplane fighter to replace outdated biplane designs. The aircraft was designed by a trio of engineers, Semyon Lavochkin, Vladimir Gorbunov, and Mikhail Gudkov, whose collaborative efforts gave the Lag-3 its name. The Lag-3 design featured a low-wing monoplane structure with a mixed construction, predominantly utilizing a material composed of very thin layers of birch or pine wood veneer and a phenol formaldehyde resin, which together were baked at high temperatures and pressures. The Russians called it Delta Wood. It was incombustible and completely invulnerable to rot, with a service life measured in decades in adverse conditions. But it was heavy, and that heaviness, matched with the underpowered Klimov M105 engine, a V12 liquid-cooled engine, producing at best around 1,050 horsepower, would make it a very unpopular aircraft for Russian pilots who found the aircraft to be sluggish, difficult to handle, lacking in acceleration and climb rate. Against the German Messerschmitt Bf 109, it was slower by 40 miles per hour, had a climb rate of fully 1,000 feet per minute slower, and a service ceiling 8,000 feet lower. Indeed, despite the lag being well armed, with a 20 mm Schwach cannon and two cowl mounted 7.62 Berezin machine guns, it was easy prey for the advanced and agile 109. Compounding these poor flight characteristics, the LAG also suffered a multitude of mechanical and engineering defects. Pilots reported several imperfections, badly made hydraulic systems, broken connecting rods, oil leaks, engine overheating, rapid engine wear and loss of power. Other faults included defective landing gear, tailwheel failure, poor quality cockpit glass, poorly finished cowling panels, and poor quality delta wood panels. Despite the lag's obvious obsoleteness and operational issues, the Soviets persisted. Lavochkin's Experimental Design Bureau in February 1941 ordered no less than 2,228 modifications to be introduced into the series. And despite its very unpopular position with Soviet pilots, the lag's production continued up to 1944 resulting in a total of 6,528 units being built and an amazing 66 distinct series or variants. Each production run attempting to correct the LAG-3's shortfalls with efforts to lighten the airframe, improve engine power and enhance aerodynamics. Early production models, series 1 to 4, were the first iterations and included the basic design which was found to be underpowered and difficult to handle. Mid-production models, Series 5 to 35, saw the introduction of various improvements, including better engines, reduced weight, and aerodynamic refinements. For example, the Series 35 featured automatic slats on the wings to enhance climb rate and maneuverability. Later production models, Series 36 to 66, incorporated more significant changes, including the installation of lighter and more powerful engines, improved armament configurations, and better quality control in manufacturing. Despite these efforts, the LAG-3 continued to struggle with performance issues compared to its contemporaries, leading to its eventual replacement by more advanced Soviet fighters like the LA-5. Despite its shortcomings, the LAG-3 played a crucial role in the early stages of the Eastern Front. It served as a stopgap measure, providing the Soviet Air Force with a capable, if not exceptional, fighter during a critical period. The aircraft's rugged construction made it durable in combat, and it was known for its ability to withstand significant damage and still return to base. This resilience earned it the nickname Lakarovani Garantirovani Grob, meaning guaranteed varnished coffin a testament to its durability despite its performance issues thanks for watching if you enjoyed this presentation please click the like button and if you like videos like this 
please subscribe for more.